Okay, I was going to make a video on acrylic inlays. I was going to do one for like a car. So I'm just going to show you on here what I did. I went to, let's, let's go back one minute. I went to the Dodge Garage, at uh, Dodge Garage. And they have, like in the download section, under the wallpapers, different wallpapers. If you go right down, I'll pick this one. And then when you click it, download size options you want to download the full which I did which will give you this just zoom in and right click copy the image and then go to light band and paste it in there and then if you right click on it and say trace image and now I'm going to pick which one I want to trace probably not one that's too hard to inlay uh, I'll try this one for now what you can do when you're in this trace image if you just want something you can actually just put a box around what you want and it will only select that and I'm going to say ok with that I'll keep this on here just for now just in case this one don't work and now this one it should let's just see if I put it on a fill and then go to the preview you can see that's roughly what it's going to give you so this would be your inlay so maybe I'll just give this one a try ok I've all the designs in I did get another design as well with Valentine's Day coming up I thought I'd do a Cupid so I think I'm going to have a go with this one first so I want to inlay this part, what's in between here, and then the cupid and the heart. So what, one thing I'll quickly do, I think, is just make this heart a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, should be alright with these strings, hopefully, that's just slot in there. But if not, you can just open it up a bit more by going to that node editing tool, and then you could just move these out a little bit more just give yourself a little tiny bit more space okay so this one here I'm just going to send it with my normal settings that I would use to cut the acrylic which I'll do 12 speed and 60 power seems to work good for most stuff really I could probably go a little bit faster but it's only a small design I'm just going to send it at there Okay, this be a good time to use them <coughs> standoffs. I've sent the file, so I'm going to say file, enter, and frame it. Okay. So we know the design's up there somewhere. Uh, right. <coughs> so I've framed it, and I've put these in. Let's put one more in the middle there. The design's going over here, I'll just frame it to the same. So it's not going to hit any of those. Okay. Yeah, well that's on there. I'm going to send that now. Yep, so that's the first part. Okay, so now if we set the kerf offset, down here you'll see kerf offset. I have it written in my book of what my kerf perfectly fitted at. It tells you if you go up, look, it says outwards. If you go there, inwards. We want to go outwards because I'm fitting this one within. I think th this is about correct. Let me have a look in my book. Uh, well, the book says... I think it's at zero, zero, 0085 outwards. Okay. Okay, so now it should this time set a kerf offset on this. I'm going to send this heart first and just check that that fits okay. You're probably better off to do this yourself as well because the kerf offset might be different on yours as well anyway. So I'm just going to send that heart on its own. Okay, I'm sending the rest of it. I'm 
a good fit. <laughs> Just about get it in there. Got to get them straight and square. Yeah, you can make a nice uh, coaster or something out of these. You can see I'll try and zoom into that more in the program. Show you the, them lines are pretty close there. Uh, try and hold it still. So yeah, it's just really a matter of getting your curve offset correct. My settings for the curve offset is 0 0.00850 outwards on the whole thing. So you don't like go inwards on the outside, you just go outwards on the whole thing. And you can see that's, I mean, maybe you can get it a little tiny bit closer and tap it in, but that's pretty close. I was doing the dodge thing and I sent the head on one layer and the circle on another layer and on the circle I put the kerf offset outwards to hopefully fit in my original black circle that I cut so that's what this is going to do now just cut one circle with the design inside and then hopefully I can fit that into my original black circle to save some acrylic Okay, I just wanted to see if that will work, I'm hoping, and then I'll show you what I mean. Oh, it's a little bit loose in there, tiny bit. Okay, now I'm going to cut the head part out of the acrylic. Yeah, and that's how the two of them came out. You know, you got to watch is with these pins. These smaller bits, let that piece drop through and the laser went across it a bit. I do think that's a bit of glue from the paper but where it heated up, give it a little bit of a flaw there. So be careful with your knees if you're cutting out small pieces. The big pieces are fine, they just drop right down but you're yeah, probably good if you're cutting just like a bunch of circles or you just got to be a little bit careful with that. But yeah, I mean you can see they're pretty close. Like I say, I'll try and zoom in on the program so you can see the difference. But Yeah, just wanted to show that. So really, it's just a matter of getting your kerf offset right. Like I say, mine is 0.00850 but, I mean, that's I guess as well matters on the power you're using or the speed you're going and everything else so you just want to do a little bit of testing on something small first make sure but yeah that's how you do it in light burn that's how you change your kerf offset to get the correct inlays when you're cutting if you're etching something but if you're engraving something and then putting an inlay into it you don't need to set a kerf offset because it's only going to the line but when you're cutting it it's actually cutting half from the inside half from the outside basically like I say when you etch it just goes up to the outside and stops so yeah just keep that in mind again thanks for watching and I'll uh, put out another video as soon as I can <laughs>